Hey, good afternoon. I'm Desiree Moses coming to you live from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. Thrilled to be joined by Kurt Vile. Kurt, hi, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Good. Thanks for being here. Kurt Vile and the Violators playing at the National in Richmond tonight for WNRN Presents Show. Julia Shapiro opening up, doors at 6.30, shows at 7.30. Kurt released a new album earlier this year called Watch My Moves, which we've been digging on NRN. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But Kurt, why don't you kick it off with a song? All right, cool. Speaking of that album, this is from uh, that. This is from that. This is called uh, Flying Like a Fast Train. Flying like a fast train, I don't feel a thing Till when I pull into my station, I just crash and burn Yup Playing in the music room in my underwear Feeling fine and then my psyche crumble, pell-mell stumble been bamboozled, better watch out cause we got vampires lurking Flying like a fast train, I don't feel a thing Till when I pull into my station, I just crash and burn Wall right then Wall right then Flying acid flashback, flying saucers, black coffee, pink lemonade from the faucet, seeing dragons. But this so pretty baby, come on, let's go tear up the city. No, I think we better slow it down. It's like flying like a fast train, I don't feel a thing till when I to my station, I just crash and burn, yeah. Cooped up creature of discomfort, can't touch a thing. So I take a walk round the block, then I come back and sing. Say what's wearing you down, kid? We'll try a little out of everything. Flying like a fast train, I don't feel a thing Till when I pull into my station, I just crash and burn Via live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond, flying like a fast train off the new album Watch My Moves. So, Kurt, you recorded a lot of this new record at a sort of newly built home studio out of your house. So, tell us a little bit about this project. Were you planning on recording at a home studio, anyways, or was this a necessity due to the pandemic? Well, um, I'm psychic. So, uh, no, but I, I feel that way. You know, I, I was planning on it anyway. I could feel the pandemic in the atmosphere before it hit. I could, the, the, you know, but either way, I was pretty tired. You know, maybe I caused the pandemic because I was so exhausted. No. <laughs> you willed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but of course not. But either way, I was planning to take it easy and build the studio anyway. And then um, a few months later, you know, once I started heavy construction on the studio with my buddy Adam, uh, 
a few months later, literally the pandemic hit. He had just moved to Philly, and then it was like, well, I guess here we are, you know. So that's, we, you know, we had more time, I guess, to keep, you know, less distractions, let's put it that way, to get the studio built and, and, and uh, yeah, get to work at home, for yeah. sure. Yeah, this record marks sort of a new chapter for you. Um, you released this record on Verve after a long stint with Matador. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about you know the reason for making that switch? Yeah, I mean, literally it was just because... Uh, I mean, first of all, it was my dream to be on Matador, and they're still family, and uh, you know, all my heroes. Like, uh, Pavement was my favorite band in the world, and that's just one of so many bands that were on Matador that were my favorite bands. So it was a dream to sign to them, and... Uh, you know, I'm 42 years old right now, I believe, and I got a couple of kids, and my contract was just up with Matador, and Verve was interested, and I, it just, it just like fell into my lap, you know, uh, a new set of hands, and you know, just play the game a little. It, who's, we'll see if I win or lose. I don't care at this point because I'm. You're getting old and crotchety. <laughs> yeah. <Just> All <laughs> right. You, you name-checked Pavement, so I have to ask you. You recently came out on stage with Pavement in your hometown of Philly. What was that like? Um, it was amazing. Uh, yeah, Steve. And, uh, you know, all, lots of bands on Matador. And, and the, the, the heads of Matador themselves, they're all rock stars to me. Mm -hmm. um, but I've known Steve a while now. And uh, also, like, the very first, like, uh, festival that almost didn't get off the ground because of uh, the pandemic, you know, was this Wilco festival out in Mexico that like, you know, just before then they canceled the Dead & Co mm -hmm. while people were there and he was getting a lot of flack, you know, uh, Jeff for not, you know, for maybe putting on the festival, maybe not. But anyway, long story long, I was there with Malcolmus and we were rowing down then, he played and that was just one of many times, but then I finally they were, I heard they were playing, um, and I had tried to go to the original reunion show out in Primavera, but anyway, I sent him, I saw their set list, their early set list, and I saw Zurich Estained was on there, and I sent Steve like an early cover of my version of Zurich Estained, just because I was being nostalgic and wishing I was there, and then he wrote, wrote me back and said, you want to sing it in Philly, and you know, and that was months before they were playing, you know, because that's, that's how that's how we do it. We uh, we book our lives months in months in advance. And I, I, yeah, I sang Zurich Stained. I should say they had no other guests, so just you know, put that also in your pipe and smoke that as well. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, and then you mentioned that you know you sent Stephen over a cover, and um, one of the most surprising elements I think of your new album is the Wages of Sin Bruce Springsteen cover that you did. Kind of an obscure track. Um, Obviously, we're huge fans of the boss on WNRN. Who isn't? Can you talk about you know your selection of that particular track? Yes. Okay, so Wages of Sin, I actually tried to do a cover of that, or I did record a cover of that with the earliest, one of the earliest versions of The Violators. I think it was 2007. Even Adam from The War on Drugs was involved in that one, um, in, in The Violators. Uh, and then I was just recently, on the last previous album, uh, bottle it in. I, I was revisiting a lot of those songs off of tracks again, and I turned my my bandmate Kyle, my mo current drummer, onto Wages of Sin. And it's such a dark song, but it really it's really beautiful, and it it's just like you know that's why they call him the boss. He's got these deep cuts yeah. that you never heard that you know you could live in those alone, um, especially the darker heartbreaker types and. It's been in my wheelhouse since my mid-20s, I would say. Yeah. Um, so we finally, it was just a way to get into the session. He said, well, we should record our own version of that since you, I kept saying I wanted to uncover the, the old one. He's like, oh, we should do our own version. I'm glad he did because it, it got us going, warmed up in the studio. Uh, and then I heard it back months later in headphones. I was like, wow, I don't know what this new album's going to sound like, but I know I got a really solid cover of Wages of Sin that, like, you know, nobody's doing anytime soon, but we better make sure it's on the record just in case, you know. And now, now it's my song. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely a real treat of the record. Kurt Vile live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. The new album is Watch My Moves. Kurt Vile and the Violators playing at the National in Richmond tonight for WNRN Present Show. Kurt, would you like to play another one for us? Yeah, I'm going to play just because I was strumming it a second ago. This is the first day of tour. I just woke up in Virginia off the bus, but I... Uh, this is my pre off my previous album on Matador, Bottle It In, that I was just talking about. This song is called Bass Ackwards. I was on the beach, but I was thinking about the bay Got to the bay, but by then, well, I was far away I was on the ground, looking straight into the sun But the sun went down, and I couldn't find another one For a while, for because it was an all burning feeling in my chest To fill the void of a long night unwatched by, well, the sun until the morn to win, well the sun's reborn, and so am I, from all the scorn buried deep within the psyche of my soul. I was standing down, but I was also on the run in my mind. I was on the radio talking to a friend of mine There was a no format because, well, we like it like that He was out of his mind and I was way out of mine Then everything went backwards with words coming out Bass backwards and I appreciate him to the utmost degree I was on the beach, but I was thinking about the bay Got to the bay, but by then, well, I was far away I was on the ground, looking straight into the sun But the sun went down, and I couldn't find another one For a while To fill the void Until the morning Everything went backwards, I mean, phrases flying out, bass words again. I was standing up, but you know I hate to still stoop you down to my level, to my level, to my level, to my level. Kurt Vile live on WNRN. Bass Ackwards from the 2018 release, Bottle It In. Kurt Vile and the Violators playing at the National in Richmond tonight for WNRN Presents Show. Julia Shapiro opening, doors at 6.30, shows at 7.30. So, Kurt, John Prine's been top of mind for me this week. His birthday was on Monday. And after you released the 2018 album, you just treated us to a track from, you released an EP in 2020, including a couple of John Prine covers and one that he actually joined you on. Can you share what that experience was like with us? Well, you literally read my mind because as you were saying that, I was putting the capo on and I'm going to do a version of one of the songs on the EP, the one I duetted with John. But yeah, I was no. just, I was actually just in Nashville. They're doing a whole week of shows in tribute to John for his birthday. They've been trying to do it for a couple of years, you know, because he, cause, but for pandemic reasons, uh, you know, they kept having to cancel um, but yeah, John Prine, people who know John Prine know what I'm talking about. And people who don't, um, they're probably hearing a lot about it. And it, it, John, he'll, you know, his songs will make you laugh and cry at the same time. Huge fan of him. And I, 
you know, over time I got to know him just a little bit just from chasing him around and knowing people in his circle. And yeah, I, the first thing I did when I got to Nashville to record was record a song called Speed of the Sound of Loneliness with producer Ferg, Dave Ferguson, who was good buddies with John. And then flash forward like four years, I was just leisurely making an EP in, in Nashville. And the last thing I recorded was uh, Speed of the Sound of Loneliness just a couple of days before I was to perform it on stage with John at the Grand Ole Opry for New Year's 2020. Um, which we just invited, we just, Ferg, Ferg called him up and said, will you come and sing this song? He's like, I'm watching the game. He's like, what time's the game over? He said, seven. He's like, all right, come down, down then. And John's like, all right, I'll be there, you know? Just the image of John Prine watching the game, you know? Yeah, and I heard the whole thing on speakerphone, you know? He's like, I'm watching the game. He's like, when it's over, it's over. He's like, all right, come down then. And then he showed up, you know, he's like, you know, I love to sing with you, Kurt, which is total just him being charming it's like i'm not yeah of course I, it doesn't happen all the time you know uh he's and that was unreal let's put it uh and that was from but yeah you can just live with all his records you know you live with all his records and every every album any every single one has songs that'll like break your heart and uh yeah he's just, he was just he was just the realist and he still is you know uh so well, here's to John. We'd love to hear one from you. Okay. All right, this is How Lucky. The day I walk down the street I used to wander Yeah, shook my hand And made myself a bet That there was all these things That I don't think I remember Yeah, how lucky can one man get? I bronzed my shoes and I hung from the rearview mirror Bronzed admiration in a blind spot of regret Well, there was all these things that I don't think I remember Yeah, how lucky can one man get? The day I walk down the street I used to wander Yeah, scratch my head and lit my cigarette Well, there was all these things that I don't think I remember Yeah, how lucky can one man get? The day I walk down the street I used to wander Yeah, shook my hand and made myself a bet That there was all these things that I don't think I remember Yeah, how lucky can one man get? Yeah, how lucky can one man get? Yeah, how can one man get? Kurt Vile performing John Prine's How Lucky live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. Kurt Vile and the Violators performing at the National in Richmond tonight for WNRN Presents Show. Julia Shapiro opening up, doors at 6.30, the show's at 7.30. So Kurt, we started 
this chat by talking about your home studio um, where you recorded a lot of the new album, Watch My Moves. So I sort of want to wind things down, bringing it full circle. Um, you know, a lot of artists move to New York or L.A. or Nashville, other cities to sort of make it happen and make it work. What does it mean to you as an artist to still stay and live and work in your hometown of Philly? Thanks. I love that question because I'm really proud and vindicated, um, et cetera. But all three of those places you mentioned, L.A., New York, and Nashville, I benefited from and would get under their spell and be like, one day I'll move here. Except for New York. I mean, New York was always close enough, and I think that's also, I got to say, a secret of my success. Because If New York wasn't quite so close to Philly, I might have had to move. But that said, I never did move, um, and I love to go to all those places and work, and I have plenty. Um, but just the fact that I, I never left and finally yeah, have my a proper place to work, and, and I'm, I moved to a part of town that's tree it's like I'm, I'm still in the city but it's everything combined it's very trees and forests and uh yeah and and because i never left i'm really close to my roots uh and it, it's just and you know i travel for work again if i didn't have if i didn't travel for work and see the world a little we, i might not be talking this way i might have you know moved plenty of places but either way um i love that i never left and it feel, feels it feels like feels better every year, to be honest. So, yeah, thanks. Kurt Vile live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. Kurt Vile and the Violators playing at the National in Richmond tonight with Julia Shapiro for a WNRN Presents show. Doors at 6.30, the show's at 7.30. Kurt, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Reiner. Thanks to Carlos. Thanks to Andrea, Billy, Charlie, Eric, Paul, Dave, and my WNRN colleague, Graham. Thank you.